Cost of training medical professionals in the country can be reduced by introduction of online courses. This is according to AMREF University Vice Chancellor Dr. Peter Ngatia. Ngatia says this will boost local efforts to enhance universal health care in Kenya. I think what we, uh, we, uh, we ask, and particularly uh, the Agenda 4 implementers, is that they look at uh, uh, helping uh, those students who would like uh, to enroll in uh, health training colleges and universities. Let's put our hands together for... Elsewhere, Glasgow SmithKline has introduced a new variant of its Panadol tablet in the Kenyan market. Dubbed Panadol Extra with Optizorb, GSK says the tablet has the ability of being absorbed faster in the stomach. And Panadol is known to be the world's most trusted pain relief medicine. And for us, as GSK, it is really important to provide access to pain relief across the country. And finally, Ball Holding, an acoustic and grand piano distributor, has expanded its geographical footprint locally by opening a new showroom at the Muthaiga Mini Market in Nairobi. The move, according to the company CEO, Alice Mumbi, has been prompted by increased demand for pianos among Kenya's growing middle class. Though perceived a rich man's musical instrument, the piano is gradually proving a preferred buy for those who want it for music as well as aesthetics. We give families payment plans so that they are not overstretched financially. They can own the piano now and pay as they keep the piano in their homes. Same uh, plan exists for institutions and we give up to 36 months of a payment uh, a plan. Ball holding through its African subsidiary Ball Africa intends to avail acoustic pianos to wailing Kenyans at prices between 150,000 shillings and 15 million bob. Patrick Igunza, Citizen TV.